Hi, Nicole Hetty here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom stamped washi tape. Washi tape is the newest craze in paper crafting, and I'm going to show you how you can use your paper tray stamps to make them in custom colors, patterns, anything you choose. So we're going to get started here. Um, I'm using score tape um, to begin with, and I'm using the one inch thick just because I wanted something um, kind of big and bold for the project I'm doing today, but you could really use any of the widths that you would like. Um, and I'm going to unroll it here, and the waxed paper side that isn't sticky is face down, and then sticky side up. And then I have a strip of ordinary white tissue here. Um, this is just regular white tissue paper that I actually have kept from um, a paper tray package. So this is actually a really good way to recycle. You could also use colored tissue if you wanted. Um, really, I mean, the sky's the limit. So I'm just going to start applying the tissue paper to the sticky side of the tape. And you just want to stick it down and then start smoothing it with your index finger as you go along. And really, if you get a couple of wrinkles, it gives it a little bit of character and I wouldn't worry too much about them. You're just gonna go down the length of it, you know, sticking the paper down. And the important thing to remember is that just not to be too, too much of a perfectionist when it comes to all of this. Just smooth it down as best you can and it really will come out great um, no, matter, no matter what you do. So I have the tissue paper adhered to the tape now, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm just going to use the edges of the tape as a guide to trim the excess tissue paper so that everything will be the same exact width as the tape. I have the tissue paper on the tape and everything is trimmed up. I'm going to go ahead and ink up, and I'm going to stamp onto the tape. Now I've seen um, seen a lot of different unique patterns and things put on washi tape before and um, I found that a lot of the bolder background stamps and things that we have um, work really 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 well for this technique. So I'm using Aquamist ink and I'm going to stamp it onto the tape. Brown Basics Petal Power for this. And I just love how well um, the tissue paper takes the ink. It makes, um, makes things really, really vibrant and bright. And I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way down the length of the tape. The cool thing is, is that you can make these pieces as long as you'd like depending on um, what length you can get the tissue paper in. So um, after um, you do this, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, I've made several um, patterns today using um, different stamp sets and such, and I'm actually gonna be applying just about all of these onto my project. Here I've actually cut um, a few strips off of each of the tapes that I'd already created today. I've got this one right here that was created with Background Basics Hound's Tooth, stamped in pure poppy. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to tear the ends of each of these strips. This one uh, is stamped in Summer Sunrise. I just wanted to create a bit of a, a rainbow effect. This uses the new Harvest Berry set with ripe avocado. And I've got Background Basics Twinkle here with Ocean Tides. And of course the one we created with Background Basics Petal Power earlier in Aquamist. So I've got all these ends torn off. And now I am ready to go ahead and start applying these to my card. I've got a regular A2 white card base here with um, the crease at the top and it's really um, easy to just peel the tissue paper off like so 
and I'm going to go ahead and stick it to the top of my card and fold it over the top. That's one of the cool things about this washi tape and the flexibility of it is that you can do interesting things with it that you couldn't with um, normal pattern paper and the translucency of it is just really beautiful in person. So I'm just going to start applying the tape down the length using each pattern and folding the uh, opposite end over the top of the card. Work my way down. And as you can see, I mean, the possibilities are literally limitless with this. I mean, you can create these in any color you like with any of your favorite background stamps. Um, it can really just customize what you have at your disposal to use, you know, for these types of projects. And really, this washi tape can be used for so many things, for gift wrapping, tags. Um, there's just a plethora of things you can use it for. So here I've got all of the strips at the top of my card and now it's time to add the sentiment. When I'm adding the sentiment, I like to go ahead and open the card base all the way so I don't have any bounce back from the card being folded. And I'm using the Thanks So Much from Table Service. And I've already got it inked up with black ink and I'm just gonna stamp that along the bottom of the card like so. And then I'm going to use a corner chomper and round the two corners. And there you have it, your completed card. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed today's project and learned a few things and we look forward to seeing your projects.